running back German Mendoza was the centerpiece in a Delran offense that rolled up 257 rushing yards. Mendoza's first carry of the game covered 29 yards, and he later scored the first touchdown on an eight-yard run. I really needed a game to really prove myself this year. And I came out tonight and I just did what I do best, run the ball. Quarterback Steve Lawler turned in some workhorse duty as well for Delran. Lawler carried 10 times for 78 yards, including this 11-yard run in the second quarter. Wardentown countered with his own feature back, junior Jameer Van Klein, who had 81 yards on 16 attempts, including a 26-yard touchdown in the first quarter. The Scotties trailed 12-6 at halftime, but recovered an onside kick at the start of the third quarter. Unfortunately, nothing came of that opportunity. Delran's Christian Bella recovered a fumble, and after a 12-play, 80-yard drive, Mendoza scored his second touchdown of the night on this five-yard run. That could have been, I mean, that was one we thought we could have scored on, and then we had another touchdown call back, so... You know, we made, we made some plays and put ourselves in position, and then we, we, we hurt ourselves. The Scotties got within a touchdown once more when quarterback Austin Pinkerton hit Najee Shabazz for a five-yard touchdown early in the fourth quarter. But another marathon drive left Bordentown with just over three minutes to try and tie the game, and an interception by Del Rand's Alcedos Vanderpool ended the Scotties' last hopes. Well, I liked uh, offensively. I think we ran the ball pretty well. I think we were dynamic with uh, with Steve running the ball along with German. We had a nice mix going in there. I think we can throw the ball a little bit better um, on offense. But other than that, I thought we did a pretty good job offense.